Mary Jo White is the nominee uh, to be our new head of our Securities and Exchange Commission. Um, and uh, she worked at a law firm before, unsurprising. She's a well known lawyer. She was the head of the Southern District Office at the U.S. Attorney's Office, one of the most prominent. Uh, jobs in the U.S. Attorney's Office, and then afterwards she went and represented the people that they were putting away. Uh, she did white collar defense. Now this somewhat happens in the legal profession all the time, uh, but it's a little problematic when you have a revolving door. They work for the government, and they work for the bankers, and then they work for the government. And shockingly enough, none of the bankers get arrested. Funny how that happens. Well, she had a very very healthy salary at Deborah Boys Plimpton, which is the law firm she worked at. Uh, well, that's now of course done because she's going to work for the American people. Wrong again, Bob she will continue to take what they call a retirement pay for life. How much? About $500,000 a year. While she's working at the SEC, that firm gets paid by all the bankers to defend them. The SEC is the main regulatory body that's supposed to regulate the banks, the financial industry. She's getting paid half a million dollars a year for life she, by the way, she has a proposal. She says, well, I should take the four years that I'm going to be at the SEC up front. So I'll take the $2 million bribe up front. And by the way, after I leave, I'll continue to get the $500,000 a year. How does that solve the situation? It doesn't solve it at all. Actually, it's a little bit better for you because you get the $2 million lump sum up front. But by the way, it's an unfunded pension. And that's important because it means that in order for her to receive that $500,000 a year, Deborah Boyce Plimpton has to remain in business and healthy. So she will have a motivation beyond that four years to make sure that they've got a lot of clients and they're doing really well so they can continue to pay her half a million a year. <laughs> this is beyond outrageous, of course. Um, Jonathan Weil at Bloomberg explains, this means she has a direct interest in Deborah Boy's future profits and therefore an incentive to help make sure only good things come, to, come the firm's way. Deborah Boy's partner retirement plan is unfunded, meaning the firm pays benefits from its continuing business operations. Now, this is so outrageous that Harvey Pitt, who ran the SEC under George W. Bush, didn't even do it. Now, he was at his own law firm, which is another prestigious firm, Freed, Frank and Harris, Stryver and Jacobson, for 23 years, much longer than Mary Jo White was at her law firm. But he put all that aside, and when asked why, he said at the time, because the SEC regulates public companies, it is better for the public to know that the commissioners of the SEC do not have any other financial interests other than the U.S. public and the U.S. government. That was Bush's guy. When Obama's people are way more corrupt than Bush's people and continue to take that money and have a financial interest in making sure the banks are not regulated, are not prosecuted, you see how far we've come and how much our government has devolved. And if you believe still that bag of goods that Obama sold you about change, man, I got a bridge in Brooklyn to sell you. <laughs> so there's going to be no change whatsoever. And Mary Jo White will do her damnedest to protect the banks, not to regulate them, because she will literally be paid to do that by the banks who hire a law firm who pay her checks. Corporations and the state have merged fully, and now our public officials get paid by both at the same time. I think there's a word for that. I think there's a word for it.